Hey guys, welcome back to Stuff and Things. Dan here uh, with a little bit more spacey type news for you guys. Sorry about missing out on the Friday episode. We are planning to do something cool. You know, we're going to do that, I guess, this Friday. We'll see what happens. Anyways, I have my assistant here, Suki, being cute, to help me out on this story. I don't know, he just wanted attention, so this is what happened. Cats. Anyways, I want to talk to you guys about black holes. Now, if you're like me and you know a little bit about them, you know enough to be terrified to do various things in your pants if you even think about one even coming close to us. Pretty scary stuff, but they're really cool and very vital to us even having life on this planet. Like, the existence of life on any planets is probably directly contributed to having black holes, so they're a necessary evil. Very, very a particular black hole I did want to mention to you guys um, was just confirmed as being the fastest orbiting pair of, uh, of a binary system. Basically, it's this black hole chilling out. It's outside of the, the uh, galactic plane, about three times the mass of our sun, and it has a little companion star. It's about 20% less, so just a little bit less than our star. They're only orbiting about a million kilometers away from each other, which is a, just a little less than three times um, the distance to the moon from the Earth. So, you know, really freaking close. They can definitely see each other. And so the black holes constantly suck in the material from this little companion star, and they're just zipping around each other. And because that companion star is traveling so fast, it's actually traveling at 2 million kilometers an hour. 2 million! Just... It actually only takes 2.5 hours for them to orbit each other to do a complete orbit. 2.5 hours! It takes, what, Earth? Well, 365 days, obviously. 366 on the leap year. It doesn't really matter, because there's no such thing as a leap year when you're talking about, like, astronomical stuff. It's just something we invented to make records easier the seasons. With the just over two and a half hour orbit time, this makes it now the fastest orbiting objects we've ever discovered. Not really anything that's going to change the history of man or anything like that, but it's really cool to see something actually happen like this. It even only came up because it was just a randomly crest or something, they noticed a little dip in the emissions from this black hole because it does emit a ton of x-rays, like black holes do, because when they suck in the matter, they build up that accretion disk, right? That's the only evidence you have of black holes. You have accretion disk and then you have x-rays and gamma rays just spot spotlighting out of it. So they noticed a dip in the x-rays and then they looked at it and bam, found this really crazy interesting place. Imagine planets if they're orbiting around that, that'd be a wacky system we live in. Now like I said, black holes, they are actually probably, most likely, necessary for any sort of intelligent life to develop on a planet. Some leading theories have deduced that when the, got, when the universe was being created, all the matter was being pulled into these very clumpy areas, right? For whatever reason, the galaxy decided, the universe rather, decided to be non-uniform. Who knows why? Still figuring that out. They all come together, clumps, you have big massive stars up here, and then they shrink, and they go bleh, and they collapse, and they explode, and they make black holes. But when you get that black hole, right, a lot of energy is produced. Who knows where the black hole is going to go? Black holes constantly picking up material, especially in like that early stage when they're, everything's still super dense. I mean, even, you know, just a couple seconds after the Big Bang, or whatever the event is, um, after that initial event, you know, stuff's really spread out because it's traveling so freaking fast, but it's still fairly dense. So black holes are sucking in more material than they can actually take. They're constantly sucking in material, spinning it out, and flinging it even farther. So black holes are actually fundamental to seeding the entire universe with more and more material. Every time a black hole's created, sure, it's taking away some material, but it's also flinging out farther and farther away to send it out to new places. As stars age, they develop denser elements, right? Because they do work with fusion. Uh, you get these layers of oxygen. That's really old star, right? Oxygen and iron and just denser elements are created from the fusion process. So the only reason we even have anything going on is because of black holes, because of the properties of the stars imploding and flying out. Black holes eventually just die anyway, so we just have to wait them out. You know, just just ignore it. It's gonna it's gonna go away eventually. Of course Scientists are actually also confused by that because it does actually break the laws of energy conservation. A black hole will take new material in and then emits a radiation. And then if a black hole's there, you have a black hole and it's got no more material, eventually the black hole shrink and disappear. What happened to all the materials inside the black hole? Because the black hole is still an object, you just can't see it because it's uh, gravity, right? Infinite density thing, object gravity. So you can't see it. It's still something there. So it eventually shrinks and disappears and goes away. It, it's gone. So what happened to it when it left? Where did it go? Will we find out? Probably eventually. Once we get out there. Let's get out there! Let's discover it! Let's go right now! Oh wait, we don't have to stay, crap. 
let's build some spacecraft, and go visit a black hole. Said no one ever. Anyways, thanks for watching, and um, if you have any questions about anything, I'd really like to know you guys' opinions on black holes, whether they're terrifying or whether they are beneficial, and we just have to live with them. Like spiders. Hate them, but they're useful. Thanks for watching. Bye.